there, led by their skipper and international winger Chris Anderson. A very strong side, a very tough side, beautifully coached by Warren Ryan, and a side that Terry Lamb, their new 5'8", and a capture from the Western Suburbs side, is already claiming as the 1984 winners of the Winfield Cup Premiership. Today they have everything going for them, and in fact, this is uh, on, on the surface looking something like a, D a David and Goliath affair. Uh, very, very uh, weak in the forward department, a complete reshuffle of players with Mario Fenich, their hooker, out of the side with injury. South Sydney, of course, uh, had a very tough midweek game Wednesday night in the National Panasonic Cup, and you can see all the strange changes. Uh, David Boyle, usually a front rower in the second rower. Michael Carberry, the lock forward, goes into the second row. Joe Thomas, usually a second row, drops back to lock. And here come the Rabbitohs onto the Belmore Sports Ground with a lot to prove today. They have a great tradition. They are languishing down near the bottom of the Premiership table. They desperately need a win today. Absolute crucial importance. Play right on the South Sydney try line. They can't afford to lose this ball now. Just look at Phil Gould up in defence, number 10. Also, Jim Leeson with a good hard tackle. Played away there by Joe Thomas and South. Have managed to get it out only about five metres. Well, inch by inch or centimetre by centimetre, but they'll have to kick. They're hemmed in right in their own line. They're not really breaking that Canterbury line. That's not a good kick. It's gone straight into the waiting arms there, folks. Loose one, picked up. Yes, it is picked up and juggles. Canterbury almost lost that ball. A little bit of rugged defence in there. The referee must call. Punch thrown by Terry Lamb. And one actually can hardly blame him. He was having his head wrenched around. Uh, no real damage inflicted upon him, but the, the South Sydney the forwards were coming in uh, with a little bit too much venom. It was quite unnecessary. The player uh, was Hill. That was Joe Thomas doing the, uh, the damage for South Sydney. And now Lamb comes across and uh, is throwing his tuppence worth into the referee to say that he was knocked about a little bit. The penalty goes to Canterbury Bankstown and it'll be Ross Conlon to attempt this penalty attempt from right in front of the South Sydney Post. Ross Conlon from about 18 metres out straight in front. Flags are up, so first blood to the Bulldogs. Canterbury Bankstown with that penalty goal kicked by Ross Conlon go to a lead of two points to nil over South Sydney. And so we're uh, reaching the halfway mark of this first half and South are doing a great job with a hastily rearranged side following a spate of injuries in the midweek night game. Great charge through here by Nick Potter. He's going to beat the ladder with Nick Potter. The score just two five yards to the left of the post. Well, that took everyone by surprise. Nick Potter came from absolutely nowhere uh, to put the first try on the board. And we'll have a look at that on replay. Just watch for number one, Mick Potter, who comes around from, uh, if you remember this scrum pack down following a knock-on, right? It's fed now, or about to be fed by Steve Mortimer. Steve Mortimer puts it in now. It's come out. Mortimer goes back for it. Goes across to Lamb. Lamb finds Potter, who, in fact, accelerated away from a standing start. Beat everyone, left them standing still. Chasing after him was Darren Neville. Couldn't get anywhere near him. As we come back live, a great try to Mick Potter to put uh, the first try on the board for either side. And this could make it 8-0. Ross Conlon from only about 12 metres out around the corner. And straight between the posts, another two points to Conlon, another two points to Canterbury. Canterbury 8, South Sydney 0. Pace inside the South Sydney quarter, won by Canterbury. Goes to Lamb. Gets it back to Mortimer. Mortimer with a long floater out here. Has uh, found uh, Mullane beautifully positioned. Coming in from the wing, Anderson is well taken, though, by Les Biles. Lots of dummying work going on over there. They're working the ball out towards Mick Potter. He's now the dummy half. Play just inside. Here's Robinson with another charge. Well put down underneath by Biles. Having a great defensive game on the South Sydney left wing. Still the Canterbury ball. Gould just scoops it up, spots a gap down the middle, and coming up in support there was Johnson. Gets it away beautifully here to uh, Anderson, then back to Johnson. An intercept, not forward though. Uh, picked up eventually by Jim Lease, and referee signals six to go. This is Peter Tunks. Well put down. That was bad luck. That was almost an intercept by Les Biles for South Sydney, but not quite. Played away by Mortimer. Great defensive work as Mullane gets to his feet now, at least to Johnston. Back inside finds folks. 
Gould across to uh, Mullane. Mullane's caught. Tried to struggle out of that tackle by um, Bill Hardy. Potter to Stevie Mortimer up in the air. This could be dangerous. Gurr goes for it, has lost it. Loose on the ground, south ball. But it must have gone forward. Surely it went forward. Referee giving the penalty to South Sydney. It's a deliberate knock-on. So Canterbury Bank's down now with this penalty being awarded only a few metres out from the South Sydney line. With Canterbury leading South Sydney by eight points to nil. And, of course, Ross Conlon will try and make that ten to nil by having a shot at a penalty goal from a point about... Uh, about 18 metres out from the south line, and he'd be about 10, about no, five or six metres to the left of the post. Uh, not the easiest kick in the world, but he's a deadly straight shooter. Ross Condon, he's landed two from two so far. So Ross Conlon, ready now to try and put two more points on the board from that last penalty committed by South Sydney. That's coming back in. Another great kick. Another great kick by Conlon. Another two points for Canterbury Bankstown. Three out of three for Conlon. Canterbury Bankstown, ten. South Sydney, nil. Get up. Get up, Darryl. Steve Mortimer to feed for the Bulldogs. That's a south ball. Oh, Steve, what are you doing out there? Going through hard. Craig Coleman, well caught. He'll play it to uh, David Boyle. In the meantime, we've got a little bit of a disagreement going on in the back play. One of the players involved, Dean Rampling. Jeff Robinson trying to uh, stop a lot of nonsense that's going on in there, and I think that'll sort itself out. Referee John O'Donnell coming across to also try and sort that out. The touch judges will have their say. It looked better than it was, if you like that sort of thing. <coughs> a little bit of hair pulling, that's all it really was. So once all this settles down with Canterbury leading South Sydney by 10 to nil, and we're uh, getting reasonably close to the end of the first half, I have a chance for me to say hello to uh, all the boys up at Shoot Harbour at the Hamilton Island Capers. Oh dear, they didn't like that. Peter Tunks being sent off for Canterbury Bankstown. And in, and in fact, also going off, we'll pick them up in, in just a moment. I think it must be... <laughs> It's the hooker, it looks like um, Montgomery also going off. And all things being equal, not a bad first half for South Sydney. Potter chiming in again for Canterbury, and he's off. He scored the first try, props, looks around for support, almost got away from Biles, and at least has brought play up now about six metres inside the South Sydney half. Lamb out wide now to uh, Mullane. Lost ball. It's going to be picked up there by Hardy. Hardy chimes back inside. And he's found uh, Montgomery. Montgomery has lost it through it the wrong way. Canterbury off the hook again. Here comes Potter. Potter's uh, looking towards the halfway line. He's hit very hard there by David Boyle. Stopped in his tracks. Play is midway between the Canterbury quarter and the halfway line. That did not do Potter any good. Here's Robinson. Has dropped the ball, and I don't know whether anything will come of that. No, the referee's let it go. Um, he was, I think, more intent on having something to do with that South Sydney player, and all he did really was give possession back to Cat South Sydney. Montgomery feeds it away through where Coleman. This is Ellison getting to his feet, playing it to Montgomery, and then through Coleman. Out wide, they're looking for fullback Gurr. Gurr's thrown a beautiful pass over here to Harrington. Harrington is well taken by Steve Mortimer, or at least stopped by Steve Mortimer. And he's brought play up to within about two metres of the Canterbury Banks down quarter. Coleman across to Carberry. Carberry gets rid of it nicely back to Montgomery. Montgomery almost had that ball stolen. Wrestles out of the tackle. Gets rid of it. It's on the ground and dived on eventually there by Ackery. Last tackle coming up against South Sydney. Bit of untidy work by the Rabbitohs kick ahead that could bounce for him picked up beautifully there by Ellison Ellison gets it back to Coleman hit very hard by Steve Mortimer and a penalty going against Steve Mortimer for what seemed to me to be not not a bad sort of a tackle I thought more around the uh, the shoulders but the referee says no and so the penalty will go to South Sydney and that could, that's a shot coming up for goal no risk about that and just watch him carefully and uh, we've got 
the meantime the uh, players were sent off earlier Dean Rampling and uh, Peter Tunks are back on the field respectively for South and for Canterbury meanwhile the most important thing is Mark Ellison taking this kick and the flags are up good kick good kick two points for South Sydney Canterbury lead ten points to two ready for the kickoff in the second half John O'Donnell has a good look around and Mark Ellison comes through for the Rabbitohs to, to kick off. Taken by Potter. Weaving sort of a run that's brought play up uh, fairly close to the Canterbury Bankstown quarter. And Canterbury Bankstown will have to watch the handling errors in this second half. They had a lot in the first half and this South Sydney side are trailing only eight points. And they're obviously uh, now confident they can give this uh, bulldog side the competition leaders something of a shake now the replacement player on for them Simons there in number 17 for South Sydney and play now is about uh, 10 meters outside the Bulldogs quarter played away by Chris Anderson and the referee coming across now to notify Canterbury that uh, the changeover comes into effect played away by Coleman out to Bill Hardy Hardy is caught He'll play this one back to the hooker, Montgomery. Quick hands then from Coleman across nicely there to uh, Michael Carberry. He got it away beautifully there to Ellison. Ellison has got his own pass away to Harrington. Harrington trying to come back infield and play now is getting up reasonably close to the Canterbury Banks down quarter. Coleman, dummy. Some rugged defence up there by Canterbury Banks down. First tackler win was Jim Lease. Tackler was, or the tackle man was David Boyle. Coleman again. Now, don't be surprised if South kick and chase here. Coleman weaves around, spotted a little bit of a gap down the middle court initially there by Robinson. Now, it could be the kick coming. There she goes, little kick. Now, the South player was hit well after he kicked it. The referee noticed it. Potter has picked it up for the Bulldogs. The referee decided to let that one go, and the player who went down late was Simons. A lot of the South Sydney reporters are a little bit unhappy with that. Jim Lease caught in possession. Referee is now hearing the touch judge report, so obviously he was unsighted on that late hit on uh, Simons. Here's Steve Mortimer being called over and spoken to. Referee also there having a chat to Chris Anderson and obviously telling the boys to cool it. You're, uh, now, that could be, if there's a penalty going in, there is. That's the second penalty in this match against Steve Mortimer. Now, this could put an entirely different complexion on the game. At the moment, it's South Sydney 10, a bigger part in Canterbury, Bankstown 10, South Sydney 2. This could make it 10-4. And it has. Great kick by Ellison. Well, have we got a ball game on our hands or not? Canterbury 10, the competition leaders against an injury riddle, South Sydney 4. Mortimer coming into pitcher now to feed the scrum for the Bulldogs. And that didn't appear to go into the tunnel, but it's a Bulldogs ball. Out nicely here to Andrew Farrah. And he's well taken by Michael Carberry. He'll play it to Mortimer. Backs in a little bit of disarray. Mortimer was really signalling for them to get strung out a bit more. They may, they're a little bit better organised now, but the forwards are still bunched. Robinson has left that behind. It's a South Sydney ball, dived on by David Boyle. So South Sydney off the hook, although Canterbury were having trouble getting some sort of an attacking formation into, into line. Hard run by Bill Hardy, is, uh, he's lost the ball again. Lamb, Lamb might go on his own, Lamb looks for a gap down the middle, well taken, he'll play it to Johnston, play only 10 metres out, Johnston goes on his own. He made a gain of about 2 metres, referee giving a penalty to South Sydney that's against Johnston for... Um, uh, I beg your pardon, not against Johnston, but against uh, Terry Lamb for not playing that ball correctly. So South Sydney now have a chance to clear the line and gain some distance. They'll kick for the hillside. This is Mark Ellison. And that's a beautifully judged kick has almost but not quite made the halfway line. 10 to 4, Canterbury 10, South Sydney 4. And in something of a boiler, Dean Rampling playing it to Chris Montgomery. 
And this fella is the South Sydney man of the match in my book, Bill Hardy, number 10, getting up and playing it now to Montgomery. Played away by Coleman, found Carberry. Carberry caught by Johnston, also in there to assist Phil Gould. Play uh, about six or seven metres inside the Canterbury half. Coleman getting a nice pass back inside. Rampling just ran into a brick wall in the shape of Robinson. Coleman, crossfield, just looking to the, the big men to try and run off them, but they're not quite uh, getting the act together now. Ackery had the ball, penalty going to South Sydney for Canterbury trying to reap the ball out of his arms after he'd been asked to play it. So another great chance for South Sydney to find the line on the grandstand side and force their way down maybe somewhere near the South Sydney quarter. This is uh, Ellison, who's got uh, what appears to be a nasty graze on his nose. He played it safe with the kick. Tossed in field by David Boyle. Montgomery takes the tap and finds Biles is left it. Well, he's knocked it forward. Rescued there by Montgomery, but of course the knock-on called, and so a scrum to pack down about 10 or 11 metres inside the Canterbury half. Put in by Mortimer. Mortimer runs straight into the puck and he got almost got through the entire pack. He went straight uh, under the legs of his own men and came out uh, underneath the legs of the South Sydney lock forward. Gould playing it to uh, Johnston to Robinson. Held in the tackle, loose on the ground. South Sydney ball dived on by Bill Hardy. He'll play it to uh, David Boyle. Across now to Montgomery. This is Coleman into dummy half. Still think they should kick. Look at that Canterbury back line up as one. Caught in possession, Ellison. He'll play it to David Boyle. And a kick would go well. But South are determined to try and beat uh, Canterbury Banks down at their own game. They're taking them on in the forwards. And it's almost a drawn game so far in that department. Montgomery plays it away. No, he doesn't. He decides a little wheeling run around, and he's found coming through on the burst there was Ackery. Ackery has found his winger, Harrington. Harrington is caught beautifully underneath by Mortimer in cover defence. Play is only 18 metres out from the south line. Coleman. Up in the air that time by Ellison. Everyone's after it this time. Biles has taken it. Big strong man, but he's brought down uh, with, well, 11 metres out from the South Sydney line. The changeover. Oh, South Sydney, you're doing the wrong thing that time. Uh, Lease had it, thought about throwing a pass. His only support was offside. Played away by Anderson from Johnston. Then nicely across to uh, Tunks. Tunks is well grassed and play now just outside the South Sydney quarter. A bigger pardon, outside the Canterbury Bankstown quarter. Tunks caught. Johnston, Mortimer. Well, centres are uh, getting into all sorts of awkward positions. This is... Andrew Farrah being roughed up and the penalty going to Canterbury and that was a crazy penalty given away by South Sydney. There's no need for them when the player, player is caught and he's been asked to play the ball to be continually roughing him up. The referees won't stand for it this season. Now, I don't know what's going through the mind of Canterbury Bankstown skipper Chris Anderson, but uh, he can't be overjoyed with the performance of the Bulldogs today. They're only leading by six points. All right, Johnston takes the tap to Mortimer to Lamb. He's propping, finds the gap down the middle, and he's off. He beat Boyle, still going hard, back inside, does it? Ball picked up by Mortimer. Mortimer beautifully across him to Johnston, who's stumbled, but he might score. Going hard for the line, he's in. Great try by Terry Lamb. Great try by Terry Lamb. About six players handled. We'll have a look at that on replay. Here we go in replay. Mortimer uh, is the man to watch in this move. Through goes Lamb. Across then nicely to uh, Mullane. Mortimer. Mortimer gets it back beautifully to Lamb, who stumbles, almost fell, and veered away from uh, the South Sydney fullback, Gurr. There's our man Lyon now. Terry Lamb with a great try scored, uh, which took South Sydney completely by surprise. And it was Lamb who started it, of course, and finished it. Attempted conversion to come. That, I think, might seal the game for Canterbury. They needed to score a try, and they did it in typical Bulldog fashion. This is Ross Conlon, who's already kicked three goals. 
uh, fairly angled kick. A little bit of breeze now has sprung up about right to left across the flight of the ball, but straight between the posts. That's goal number four for Ross Conlon. And with another six points on the board for the Bulldogs, they now lead South Sydney 16 points to four. So, Barra will look for the line. And that finds it without any trouble. About eight metres short of the South Sydney quarter. Johnston gets the team moving again. Mortimer, the lamb. That looked to a whisker forward. He found Farrah coming through. Farrah's well caught. And that's the quarter line you can see, the South Sydney quarter. Playing it to Mortimer. Mortimer will back up, gets it now. Looks for an inside pass, finds Tunks. Tunks now about uh, 25 metres out from the South Sydney line. Canterbury could have a move on here. Gould trying to struggle his way through. Playing it to Johnston. Johnston calls for a runner, finds one. Play is just inside the South Sydney quarter. And South will have to watch them. They're obviously working up to a move. Across to Lease. Lease going hard. Back inside to Chris Anderson. He struggles for the line and dragged down short. Thought about putting it over. Got Gould at dummy half. Now there must be a penalty coming here. And it goes against South Sydney. That time against David Boyle for coming through offside and diving for the ball. It was very, very close for Chris Anderson. And not a bad crowd at the Belmore Sports Ground in uh, rather wintry conditions. It's very cold, in fact. Uh, fortunately, the rain has held up, but everyone rugged up there, as you can see, for uh, uh, pretty cold afternoons watching of rugby league. As we pick up Ross Conlon, having a shot now for penalty goal from pretty well in line with the right upright. He should get this. It's between the posts. No points. Another two points to the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. Conlon runs back to his position and the score line now looks like this. Canterbury Bankstown 18, South Sydney 4. <laughs> They're the girls who you usually see in rather skimpy gear today. Who can blame them for being rugged up like that? And if South Sydney look a little bit weary, one can hardly blame them with a very hard match Wednesday night in Brisbane. South Sydney ball this is uh, Ellison going hard. Looked for a bit of a spot down the middle, couldn't find it. We'll play it to Coleman. Coleman to Rampling. Rampling, this is Dean Rampling, of course, his brother Tony Rampling, not playing in first grade today. Running wide is Hardy. Hardy tried to spin around and offload that ball and couldn't. We'll play it to Montgomery. Play only about seven metres short of the Canterbury line. Goes to Coleman. Back to Montgomery. Montgomery throws a wild pass to Hardy. Hardy almost through the tackle, flipped it wild and wide. And into touch goes David Boyle. The ball stayed on the field. Boyle diving for it, uh, swung his legs out over the touchline. Minutes now only to uh, full time with South Sydney. Obviously, to go on and win this match, they're leading by 18 points to four. I beg your pardon, Canterbury to go on and win this one over South Sydney, leading by 18 points to four. Steve Mortimer, well caught. Play, however, in a dangerous position if they happen to drop this ball. And they've had a little bit of a clumsy last 15, 20 minutes. Chris Anderson comes into dummy half and likes to run from there. Skipper of Canterbury has made the uh, break out over the quarter as the Hooter goes for full time. And a good game deservedly won by Canterbury Banks down by 18 points to four over South Sydney and I think everyone at the Belmore Sports Ground enjoyed this match we certainly hope you did wherever you've been watching video match of the day and I don't think that scoreline really tells the true story of a, a great struggle between two uh, extremely fit and extremely dedicated teams so in video match of the day from the Belmore Sports Ground in Sydney Canterbury Banks down 18 remain on top of the Winfield Cup Premiership competition with a good win over South Sydney.